and prices are still too high. A, lo a loaf of bread cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Ground beef is up almost 50%. As president, I will take on the high cost. Hello, everyone. Welcome to American Life 365. The Harris Walls Socialist Plan doesn't work. Harris Walls plan for price controls and government intervention in the free market is ineffective and harmful. Harris Walls wants price controls in the free market. Let me ask you a question. Who pays for their so-called price controls? Who can afford your price controls? A free market is one in which the laws of supply and demand provide the sole basis for the economic system, without the need for government intervention. A core principle of free markets is the concept of voluntary exchange, a transaction in which buyers and sellers freely trade goods and services. Basically explain it in simple sentences. If you ask too high, buyers won't buy and you won't be able to sell, so your price will be low. If you don't make a profit, you close your business. It's that simple. This is basically market determined supply and demand in a free market. If you want the seller to price it so they will sell at a loss, then they will leave or close business. They cannot survive. This is exactly what happens with California home insurance. San Francisco type radical Gavin Newsom signs insurance bill restricting insurance companies on pricing. It caused 70% of home insurance companies to leave California and lose business with the state. This leaves millions of California homeowners unable to purchase home insurance. Their home insurance prices have doubled or tripled. My home insurance premiums jumped from $900 to almost $2,000 per year, and some of my friends have had their home insurance premiums doubled or tripled. This is a devastating blow to California's insurance market. The same goes for California's rental market. San Francisco-type radicals have placed the greatest restrictions on the free market for landlords. As a result, a large number of homes were taken off the market. There is very little inventory of homes on the market. It causes rental prices to double or triple, making San Francisco the most expensive rental market. Now San Francisco-type politician Harris Walls is pushing similar policies on businesses across the country, from grocery stores to pharmaceuticals, just as they're doubling home insurance premiums in California and San Francisco's shortage of rental properties will devastate America's free market and has done immeasurable harm to the United States of America. Harris pledged to build 3 million government homes and promised some benefits for first-time homebuyers. Again, who pays and where does the money come from? Which government in the world makes its own money, even a penny? No government makes money except from taxing taxpayers. Taxpayer dollars are all used to pay for 3 million housing units, which is equivalent to taking trillions of dollars out of the pockets of some innocent people to pay for the housing of others in exchange for favors from those in power. This won't work. 45% of the country's tax revenue is already contributed by 1% of the country's working population, while 45% of the working population does not contribute a penny. Harris socialism will make it worse. The Harris tax would deprive the rich and middle class of more money. The rich and middle class are the economic horsepower. If they can't keep their profits, they'll look for other places to make profits. This is why Socialist California is losing business. More than 237 of the 1,000 fortune companies have left the state since 2005, according to the California Policy Institute. The economic impact of these departing companies could be wide-ranging. Now attrition at corporate headquarters is only accelerating, with twice as many departures in 2021 as in 2020. Most recently, Kasik Foods moved its headquarters to Irving, Quick Fee Solutions to Plano, Inventa to Allen, Norwalk Frontiers Communications to Dallas, Thermonix to Dallas and Land Sea Homes to Dallas. This year, Chevron, Tesla and SpaceX companies will move out of California. It caused millions of jobs to disappear in California. If Harris wins this election, 
more businesses will be forced to leave out or close business in the United States and millions of Americans will lose their jobs. To young voters, socialism is an evil sham. They prepared a sumptuous lunch for everyone. But actually, it's just a painting. Everyone is trapped in poverty. If you think you shouldn't pay for other people's food and shelter, why do you think the rich or the super rich or the middle class can? If it's fair to rob some people with a gun or a ballot, then no one is protected because if someone gets robbed and gone, you might be the next one. Some young people believe that democratic socialism has succeeded in the Nordic countries. The Nordic countries' welfare comes from using U.S. spending to protect and defend them, and manipulating their currencies to deprive other countries of their benefits. Small countries can use us to support their abundant welfare and drink bears at home because we Americans pay to protect them for free. If Americans put themselves in their shoes, who would pay for it? Can anyone pay off America's astronomical debt? No matter what version of socialism it is, socialism cannot solve the problem of who pays. It can't last long. Most young people belong to the lower class and often struggle in daily life. It is easy to have the illusion that they are being exploited by the rich. In fact that young people are paying for Obamacare to take care of others who don't have jobs or illegal immigrants. Harris's socialist scam is really unfair. In California, even paying illegal immigrants to buy homes is crazy. How do you think people who don't want to buy a home yet or already own one should pay someone else or an illegal immigrant to buy a home? If housing fails, taxpayers must pay the price for government failure. I think young people should protect their money and the freedom to manage it. Stop the evil hand of government on all taxpayers. Young people should not pursue socialism but capitalism. Only capitalism can protect your wealth and freedom. If you are a taxpayer, no matter how old you are, you should absolutely say no to socialism. You should not be paying taxes at all for Harris Wall's reckless money laundering. Reject Harris Wall's socialism. If you think this is something that has to be done, you have to make more and more people aware of this issue. Spread this awareness to more and more people. If you like this channel, please subscribe, share, and like it so that more people can hear this voice. Thanks.